What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you, I thought there was water running. I don't know, it was like de for a second, it was like somebody de-goused it. God, there's a thing you would never have to explain to NSO kids. Back in the day with computer monitors, there was this button called de-gauss, or de-goss, or whatever the shit. I don't know how to say words. Anyways, let's stick to the point here, not my pronunciation. You could degauss the monitor by pushing this button, and it would do a thing kind of like that right there, except it was more shaky, it was like, -la 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 -la, and it kind of went side to side, and you would do it in order to make sure that pixels or something like that hadn't got stuck. I'm not really sure what the function of the button was, to be honest. All I know is that the bouton was there, and it looked like somebody had degaussed our monitor for a second, so I don't know. Welcome back to Slime Rancher, where I get sidetracked easily, and we don't really accomplish much each and every day. Oh, goody! They have once again somehow become... How did they... What? How did they mix with rock slimes? See, I'm beginning to wonder... There were, there were no plorts over here. How did they mix with rock slimes? I mean, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. I can... Like, it doesn't upset me that much. It's easy access, I suppose, to getting extra plorts. And they're one of the ones that's actually, they're carnivorous, so it's going to take us quite a bit of food in order to keep them fed. And so, like, I don't, I'm not upset by the fact that they've swapped over. It just makes them a little bit more dangerous in my world. So, I'll probably put a roof on a lot of these. In today's episode, we don't have a lot to explore at the moment. I think we've got to find another key. But other than that, it looks like they're trying to lift off and leave. Apparently, they don't like being here. They gotta go. They just gotta go. Here, you guys take these Q-berries because I need to pick up all of your phosphorus plorts. That sounds hot and unpleasant. Like, I plorted some phosphorus. But like, whoo, did it burn? Did you have to go see a proctologist? I bet you did. That doesn't sound too pleasant. So with the phosphor plorts, we can now sell them for a terrible price. I don't know why the market hates us so much in this playthrough. The market really sincerely does not like us on a fundamental level in this playthrough. It's deeply saddening. Chickens, what are you doing over here? Not a whole lot. Is that like an elder hen right there? No, that's a stony hen. That should be fine. I'll try to do my best to pick up some chickens on the way around too. I think we might need to restock a tiny bit. Chicken farming still remains a little bit suspect. And not in any... I'm just gonna fire that turnip, whatever the shit. Actually, it's a beet. When I was a kid, I loved beets. Like, when I was a little baby. Like, not like a child. But when I'm well, a child, but on the lower end of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, when you were a little, little baby. Well, I really, really liked beets. And so my dad said it always looked like I was a blood-sucking baby. He said, get done feeding me, and I'd have, like, beet all over my face, and it looked like I murdered somebody with my teeth. Kind of psychopath baby. Anyways, there's a little story about me. And Ollie's here. Hooray. Why is that poor carrot all black and they just left it to the side? Why would you do such a thing, pink slimes? Why? How could you be so cruel to the carrots that sustain you? This is like 24 carrots of sustenance and you have abandoned every facet of... Oh, you guys ate up all the... Mm, they ate up all the... They ate up all the pomegranates too. Ain't that a beezy. I'm going to launch you guys over the wall. I don't even know where that's going to put you, but hopefully away from me. Because I am upset at you for having eaten my fruit. Alright. Let's go have a look. Oh, there's some fruit over here, though. That sounds good. Oh, that guy's going to try and hit me. It's weird. So why are there hybrids with the rock plorts over here? How did you guys get access to rock plorts in order to turn into Largos? Huh. There's something over here. What is this? Looks like there's a crate and a bunch of mushrooms over on this side. Oh, there's some heartbeats over here, just, to, uh, just in case you were trying to get after them. That's not too bad. I had no idea there was heartbeats back here, although I probably found those in my last playthrough. Let's go ahead and break that little bastard open. And then I will claim that hen, because we actually are in dire need... I don't know what to do with that arch right there. It's possible that with a little bit more jetpack charge, I might be able to jump up there, and then from there, jump to somewhere else. But for right now, I'm not seeing the target. The target lacks designation. 
I don't think that's going to help me out right there. So let's head back this way. We're going to have a lot of guys that need to be fed. But I want to stick to the task here. I did want to check on the Oka Oka plants. The Oka Oka plants, if you don't recall. In the previous episode, we had opened up a new zone. Oka Oka is not over here. We had opened up a new zone where the radioactive slimes were at. And there were these plants called Oka Okas there that are apparently the favorite food of the little guys that we captured. And so anyways, until we get ourselves some Oka Oka plants, it might be somewhat difficult to get them to plort in great volumes. I don't know if the Oka Oka is just like a natural laxative, it just makes them shit nonstop, or how it all works. But, biological stimuli aside, biological means aside, and education and all that, chances are we could probably make use of this. So I'm gonna go back and see if the Oka Oka is regrown. After that, we may focus a little bit on... Who have I not... Oh, I haven't fed... Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we need to feed the Phosphor Slime a whole bunch of food so that we can get the next key, I think. It just mirrors it. look like there's a little cave over there. It looks to me as though there's a little cave over there. We're going to deal with this in just a minute. Let me pick up some fruit, though, because we are going to need pretty sizable volumes of it to get things done. We have a ton of large O's over here. We have problems going on. Some chickadoos. Those are carrots. I need Oka Oka, though. Where's the Oka Oka at? I just like saying the word Oka Oka as well. Oka Oka is a really, really fun. Try it right now. Sitting in your chair, say Oka Oka a couple times, and you'll be like, I feel better about today. I feel like things are going well right now. That works out fantastically, too. I forgot that we had another one over here that we had to deal with. Okay, well, that's good. I'm Actually, I'm really happy we came back this way because that refreshes my memory a tad. I had forgotten that they had added another large slime to this area. I think there might only be, like, one spot where Oka Oka grows, in all honesty. I haven't seen a lot of it around. And normally, by the time you get here, it's already been eaten by the pink slimes, which are all over the place. I'm not sure how we keep the pink slimes from eating the Oka Oka that we want. But this is one of the spots right here. Get out of here, you dick. This is what it looks like right there. It's just they eat it so quickly once it comes up that... Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot I can do right there. I don't want the chickadoo. Chickadoo can do whatever the hell... Dude, I just launched a baby chicken out of a gun. Like, let that sink in for a second. That doesn't seem acceptable by any standard. It seems like kind of a dick move. I don't think I want to shoot little avian fowl out of a, out of a rifle. I don't know. It makes me feel bad. I do feel like I've crossed some lines with regards to ethics and morals. It feels like it might be a bit much. I'm going to worry about these plorts in a little bit. What is that? Oh, it's the new puddle slime. I had heard that. Yeah. I hadn't really I hadn't really thought about it until we had gotten here. But I had heard something about that, how they had redesigned the puddle slimes and people were actually kind of upset about it. Like, I was up on the forums, and people were like, Bring back old Puddle Slime! And I had no idea that Puddle Slime had actually been changed around. Oh, there's something over there, too. There's all kinds of stuff here. Like, there's definitely a thing that I can jump to over there. I wonder if I can get up enough steam. Once I upgrade... Yeah, we need to upgrade our backpack. I've seen a bunch of exploration spots now. And I am curious. Oh, they ate that one, too! Little bastards are stacked up everywhere on all the little Oka Oka plants. Like, what do you do against that many slimes? It's just like, God. I do think pink slimes are a bit too frequent in-game right now. I'm going to add that as a bit of a critique. Not a thing that I'm mad about, or a thing that I think sucks about the game, or anything like that. It's just that there are too many pink slimes. They are... Oh, there's another one back here, too. It's just that they are everywhere. Oh, here's some heartbeats. Those aren't Oka Oka, but I guess it's something. I don't really have the means to house the puddle slimes yet, so I suppose I'll just throw them out into the ocean for now. And on the way by, we'll consider giving these to him. You're not very good at catching. For having such an enormous mouth, you're not very good at this game. I'm trying to help you out right now, Rock Slime, but eh. If you don't want to be helped, that's life. That is life. I think, was there anything down this way? No, there's not. There's only radiation and a lowered sperm count waiting for us on that side, so I think I'll avoid that situation. 
throw you into the ocean because everybody knows that's what fixes. What are they trying to do right now? Oh, there's like an upper way up there too. See, I've been through this zone a couple times now. And I'm Feral slimes. It's hard to be nice on an empty stomach. So do they just like get hungry? And that's, they're just hungry for too long and they become bitchy. I can understand that. I'm the same way. I have a very low threshold for hunger. For whatever reason, I've got a decent pain tolerance. Like, I'm pretty good with pain and suffering. But when it comes to needing food, like, when I am hungry, it is impossible for me to be a nice human being. Like, if I'm hungry, mm, stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, because I'm coming for you. You're in the way of me and, like, a granola bar. You might lose a finger. Oh, there's some Oka Oka right there. Okay. No. Guys, I need this a uh, tubular spud mix. Okay, I need these Oka Okas. Something going on down there, but I don't want to find out. I'm just glad we got the Oka Oka. That's all that I care about. I wanted to start an Oka Oka farm so I can say Oka Oka far more frequently. So, Oka 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 Oka! Sing forth the song of Oka. Like you are a joker. I ain't never be a broker, son. But I always be a smoker. I had like a vague Morgan Freeman. Th I don't know what I was doing. You gotta roll it out. Like when you do Morgan Freeman stuff, you gotta roll it out the back of your throat. But I'm not good at impressions. Not good at impressions. Like I have voices that I do, but the impressions, mm, not so good at them. I am not the champion. Let me get these pogo fruits, because we are 100% going to need these very, very badly. In order to feed the Phosphor Slime King. Oh, they're growing actively right now. They're like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. Please don't headbutt me. Do not headbutt me. I don't love you like that. Save it for your mama, chump. Wait, am I going back this way or am I going back? I gotta go this way. Hold on. We gotta find our way out of this mess of large O's. Stony hens around if you wanted to. Oh, that hen just headbutted that pink slime. It was like, get out of here, pink slime. You are far too numerous and in the way of my scavenging efforts. Wow, there's so many big slimes left that we got to take care of. They're like all over the place. That's cool. That's all right. I feel good about it. I think we should be able to accomplish this no problem. I think the way out was over here. Is there any Oka Oka left? Or you well, thick bastards eat it all. Alright, cool. I don't like how it makes the button flesh colored. I've never liked the, the flesh color. There was a I had a comic about that up on the Facebook page. About the designation of flesh colored. It was pretty funny because it basically marks a conversation that me and my best friend have all the time. My bestie. My best dude. Oh, there's a crate up here. That's pretty cool. With a bunch of chickens in it. Nice. You just left them in there though? Once again, inhumane. Does not seem cool. It looks like we can get up there too. We might have to leave that for another time. Yeah, getting paid. Getting paid in chickens. Was there a way back to my base over here? I think there must have been, and I just took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. In Albuquerque. Probably one of my favorite songs that Weird Al ever did. It's a song that speaks to my heart, because I'm a rambling type of person that, like, can't get anything done because I can't pay attention long enough. And that song is basically what would happen if I tried to write a 50 minute song. It would just be about everything. And it's all because they were out of apple fritters. He said, nah, we're out of apple fritters. God. I haven't listened to that album in forever. I think that was on Running With Scissors. Yeah. I used to be a big Weird Al fan when I was like in junior high. Kind of in high school. I don't know. It was just one of those things. It's comforting, I guess. Hey, what's up, gents? Please don't hit me. Oh, your goo is on the wall. Did you realize you left some residue? My assumption would be that perhaps you might need that residue to remain inside yourself. Um, otherwise, you will diminish. Much like the elves as they traveled to the west to get away from the realms and the lands of men as their species and culture fell into night. Gondor! Ooh, puddle plorts are worth money. Yeah, buddy. 
Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to purchase some new territory. And until I get new territory, we're not going to be able to accomplish much. I will, however, put hen hens inside this cage so that they can be bred with and become more numerous. I will buy this land. Let's go in and see if anything has changed around. Last time I was here, this was all just extra farming space. And actually, there was some fruit. And it does look like they've added something. So on the left-hand side... Oh, there's a teleporter. Okay, so we came through that one from somewhere. I don't recall exactly where. I think it was from... I don't know. Somewhere over by where, like, the feral... I'm sorry, the, the kitty slime was at. Oh, there's... A zone back here. They did add stuff. Alright, well, we'll deal with that in just a minute. That's totally cool. We'll, we'll deal with that in a little bit. What we need to deal with right now is deciding how we want all of our farming to work because this does give us direct access to respawning chickens. This does give us direct access to some fruit trees and some other little things that we can use to fill in our operation just in case things are not going so well. But... I would suggest that we use this area for our food farming, and so that's what I'm going to do. And if I have to move the gardens around, well, I guess I have to move the gardens around, and it costs us a little bit of money. But I'm going to use this entire zone as just an area to grow my food. And so with regards to the Oka Oka, let's go ahead and we'll throw Oka Oka plants in there. I'm going to activate this. We will put in sprinklers and nutrient soil. That is going to cost us a little bit of cash, but you know what? I think I've got an idea how we can make more by feeding our radioactive slimes their favorite thing. And so that'll give us a little bit of cash to play around with. We can also, I think we have a ton of rock plorts that are sitting around inside of our rock plort collector. I think I counted 45 or so. You guys hungry? I'm sorry, guys. I haven't fed you in a while here. Get down on some of that delicious Oka Oka. And provide me with all of the plorts that your little buttholes can spit. Over here, they're still looking pretty happy, so I'm not going to concern myself. These gents are looking a tad hungry, so we're probably going to want to go in. Okay, so we've got hungry slimes here. Hungry, hungry slimes. These need to be refertilized and actually replanted, which is unfortunate because I needed stuff to feed with right now. Hmm. Oh, he got out. Well, here. Let me grab some chickens, then. I don't have a whole lot of options right now, but... There we go. That should be enough to get them fed. There we go. And that'll make us a little bit of money. So let's deal with all of these extra rock floors that we have. Ow. Somehow they're getting those plorts that... Oh, they're over there, too? Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, apparently I got knocked out through my wall. I really should insulate that in some way or another. It seems like a dangerous oversight to have. Man, I took a nap for a while. Getting up bright and early, though, so I guess that'll take the edge off. All of our plorts are gone. Where did all of our plorts go? Uh, I needed the I I needed those for monies. N no. No words right now. No words right now, Slime Rancher. Seriously, at the end of my rope. Were I at the end of a rope? Although the thing I never liked about that saying was like, if you're at the end of a rope, chances are you've been hanged. And so, like, you're at the end of your rope, eh. I mean, I think you got bigger things to worry about than the quantity of rope that is available to you at that point. Like, oh no, we have very little rope left. I worry more about the, ah, gravity is dragging me downwards with the intent of snapping my vertebra. I don't know, vertebra? Just doesn't seem good. All right, well, let's feed these little turds again so that they can then make even littler turds so that we can get paid, because we're a little bit too broke right now to actually seal the deal on this whole thing. Pogo fruits, pogo, 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 pogo. And then we will drag these. Uh, we got 35 minutes left on that one. Okay, 
Probably should refertilize those. Honestly, I don't let them get down to like 20 minutes. Around about 20 minutes is when I'll usually try. We don't have a lot of chickens left either. So our feed situation is looking sketchy, to say the least. I'm seeing a lot of pencil lines, erasure marks, things of that nature. Things that are available in sketchy. Ooh, we've got, yeah, we got Oka Oka though. Oka 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 Oka, get inside my vacuum. You know, surprisingly enough, I feel okay about this. Well, not really okay. I mean, we just lost a lot of money because I got exploded in the face. And normally when explosions take place near my face, I have like a duck and cover motion that I do, where I kind of take my hand and I use it to cover my face. It's an original thought. I know most people won't be on board with it. It's going to take time for people to adapt to this new strategy of face protection, putting your hand in front of your face. But I think with time, people will find the method to be authentic. Authentic. Rip out some carrots real fast too, because God only knows how much shit we're going to need in order to feed all these animals now that they've been... They've been out for probably... How long did I sleep for? I don't know. I'm not good at telling time. Either way, we've got a lot of animals to feed, and they have this... They have this weird tendency to rebel. And just be really, really rowdy. When I don't feed them. And frankly, they look cuddly, and they look friendly, but they actually are not. They're... A bit severe in their criticisms, to be honest. A little bit biting. The critique that they level my way can be... A bit much. It can hurt... To say the... Oh, damn it. It can hurt, to say the least. Sometimes words cut deep. Words can be sharper than knives, kids. Also hiccups. Alright, well they're gonna get fed on Oka Oka. Hopefully we'll be able to pull enough out of this to actually get a little bit of spending money. That looks good. We can plant those there. So now we got, I mean, acres of Oka Oka, so that'll be cool. Uh, I'm kind of doubting whether or not I need that pogo fruit tree any longer. I'm just not solid on it anymore. Why is that one still upset? They all got fed. These guys all seem happy. Here, take these carrots. Enjoy them. Eat them all day long. You ever notice how weird it is? How fast they, they eat and then almost instantaneously they have to drop a dookie. Like right afterwards. That's like how it works for dogs and cats, I guess. That's why I never feed my cat before I serve dinner. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Because my cats can reek up an apartment like nobody's business. You have no idea. It's far too small a space for this, for the stink that that animal can put out. And even Ollie's getting in on it nowadays. Only Big Cat used to make stinks. Now Ollie makes stinks too. And she's like, damn it. Why couldn't you stay an adorable kitten with little thumbnail-sized shits forever? Nope, now he's squeezing out baseball bats just like everything else around here. Like, damn it. I want those ports, but I'm not willing to sacrifice my safety to get them. I feel like the union for slime ranching would really have things to say about how unsafe these enclosures are. But I suppose that's probably a question that's better left for later. My name is Splattercap. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, I've got a link for you down below. And if you click on said link, it will take you to a web page where at you click on several more links and then acquire the title for yourself in your Steam library. If not, I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. It's been a blast, and I just wanted to say thanks for everybody stopping on by to spend some time with me. I'll see you all there, hopefully. Bye, everybody.